Was there a question once about replacing the architect and Tip O'Neill stepped in? Oh, yes. Uh, when Jimmy Carter became the president, the um, word came to me from some architect friends that there was an architect in Atlanta, they didn't say who, who wanted to be architect of the Capitol and that he'd made uh, major efforts on the part of the Jimmy Carter's election and, the, and the, they thought he might get appointed by the president since it was the president's prerogative to do so under the law at that time. I had two or three people tell me that, so I decided if there was that much smoke, there might be some fire. So I went to Tip O'Neill and told him the story, and he said, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it, which he did. Never heard any more about it. And uh, it was good to have friends on the Hill. In that regard, on, I can't remember the occasion, but I was part of a congressional delegation. I guess it was part of the Magna Carta ceremonies uh, when we went to the, to the Capitol uh, to be greeted by the president in connection with the presentation of the Magna Carta. And the congressional leadership were there, and I was one of the people who was invited, since I was going to be responsible for it. And it happened, my wife and I stood in the line waiting to get in to the Capitol with this, with the group of the leadership, uh, right behind Tip O'Neill. And we had to sign a book as we went in. And I looked at the signature just before mine, and instead of Thomas P. O'Neill, he signed it, Tip and Millie O'Neill. I thought, well, that's, that's why he's such a well-liked person. I, did, I signed it formally, but he's, it was his prerogative to do what he pleased.